Hey everyone, so today we are going to talk about geometric distribution. Now it's a very special case from negative binomial distribution. So in earlier lectures we talked about negative binomial distribution and the binomial distribution. Link you can find in the description. So negative binomial distribution and the binomial distribution like they are almost the same except one condition. So in binomial distribution you do n number of trials where n is fixed and then you say let x be the number of successes and then you find the probability of that x. In negative binomial distribution, the assumptions are same except the one thing. The one thing is that there in binomial n number of trials and the probability of x successes. Now in negative you do the other way. What is the probability that the kth success occurs at the x trial? Okay, so n x and here you have x k or you can say x n. Okay, but like in binomial we use n in geometric in negative binomial we use k okay so what is the probability of kth success at the x trial so and this is the formula that you have seen where p is the probability of success q is 1 minus p the probability of failure okay like here like if i want to give an example probability of kth success at the x trial okay that means what is the probability of fifth success at the seventh trial or probability of first success at the tenth trial or a probability of 11th success at 100th trial. Okay, so such kind of questions will come. So as soon as you get the required number of successes, you stop your trial. Okay, so it's the other way around. There you do the number of trials and then you find the probability of success. Now geometric is what? It's a special case for negative binomial distribution. That means when your k is 1, then k is 1. So don't write k then the negative binomial distribution is called as a geometric distribution and what is this when your k is 1 x minus 1 choose 0 is 1 only it is p into q raised to x minus 1 so this is called as a geometric distribution that means probability what is the probability that the first success occur at the x trial okay so and we study this separately now why do we study this because See, uh, first success always play an important role in anyone's life, okay? Like, if I am uh, playing Ranji match, what will be my success? The chance when I get an opportunity to play for Team India. That will be my success, okay? So, my failures I will count as number of times I am playing Ranji. And success means as soon as I get a call for to play for the Indian cricket team. Also, that will be a special moment for me, right? Or when I am playing a match, the first six that I will hit that will be a special moment for me so always the first success always play a very important role and that's why we studied separately so whenever you see a question where the first success comes into the picture then you think of geometric distribution okay like if you are a footballer then what is the probability that you will score your first goal that means what earlier all the goals that you have shoot in a match those are missed and or is the probability that you will score your first goal so how many trials one two three four five six so at the sixth trial you are scoring your first goal or in other words if i want to say what is the probability for number of successive failures before you get your first success so that's also another way of talking about geometric distribution okay now why the word geometric because here if you observe when you take x equal to one what you get p then when you take x equal to 2, you get pq, then pq square, then pq cube and so on. And you can see this is nothing but a geometric progression. Or when you sum it up, you get a geometric series. Okay, so that's why this is called as a geometric distribution. Okay, and once you have this, this is a probability mass function. Then similarly, one can have cumulative distribution function where you talk about less equal. There you sum it up. The same thing where we have talked about the CDF in earlier lecture. So, yeah, so that's about the geometric distribution. Now, let's take a couple of examples. Okay, so before going to example, just a one short point. So, mean is 1 by p. So, for negative, it was k by p, but our k is 1. So, 1 by p and variance is 1 minus p upon p square. Okay, now suppose uh, Shivanshu, uh, he gets a job in a manufacturing company and that company is producing chips. I mean, chips as in not that eating wala, like say, say Intel company where they are producing these small, small chips. Okay, now and the data says 3 out of every 100 chips are defective. What is the probability that Shivanshu will find the first faulty chip on the ninth product that is going to test? 
okay so first fault is getting on the ninth one two three four five six seven eight nine so here he is getting the faulty chip and that is his success because his job is to find the defective chip right so this is the scenario now first faulty so first comes into picture that means you should think of the geometric distribution okay now this is the first thing so how many success how many trials you need nine so your x is nine and what is the geometric distribution Pro g of nine comma what is the probability three out of hundred so what you get zero point zero three what is the formula p into q raised to x minus one and what do you get over here so your p is nothing but zero point zero three into what is your q zero point nine seven raised to x minus one that is raised to eight you do this multiplication you get your answer so here is a homework problem for you so suppose it is known that in a company the probability that that company will experience a network failure in a given week is 20 percent and now suppose you are the boss of that company and you want to know the probability that the company can go five weeks or longer without experiencing the network failure okay so again you have to apply geometric distribution so you can tell me x and the p that is a probability or you can tell me the answer whichever is convenient for you so i hope this is clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you